Welcome to another class of AB Amiga Sciences and this is Abhishek with you. Today I will be teaching you about uh, Koch's postulate. So, Koch's postulate is very important aspect of microbiology where Dr. Robert Koch was the first scientist who discovered or who analyzed that a bacteria is causing the disease. So, he first established that the disease causing by the bacteria. So, the relation between a disease and the causal organism is defined by these postulates. So, he defined four postulates. Uh, what are they? The four postulates are first the microorganism, the microorganism should present, should present in all the diseased in all the diseased organisms and absent from healthy ones absent from healthy organisms So, I will explain this postulate first. So, the microorganism should present in all the diseased organisms. So, suppose uh, I am infected by uh, E. coli that is pathogenic E. coli. So, the organism should be present within me as I am diseased by the E. coli pathogenic organism, but it should be absent for any healthy organism. So, any healthy human being, the organism, the pathogenic strain of the E. coli which is found within me should not be present there. So, this is the first postulates. The second postulate is the causal organism, the causal organism should be isolated, should be isolated and cultured in pure form. So, cultured in pure form. This is the second postulates of Koch. So, what does it define? It defines that the, the causal organism that is the E. coli which is present within me, it should be isolated from my uh, serum or my blood and then it should be cultured in the media or it can be liquid media, it can be a solid media and it will be in pure form. That means the E. coli which is present within me, the pathogenic strain of E. coli which is present within me that should not be mixed with any other bacteria which is uh, available in my body. So, that particular pathogenic strain which is causing the particular disease should be present and should be cultured in a pure form apart from and fully separated from any other bacteria. That is the second postulate. The third postulate is that that isolated organism, that isolated organism if inoculated, if inoculated inoculated in a healthy individual, in a healthy individual then the same disease should occur, same disease should occur. So, the E. coli, the pathogenic strain of E. coli is first uh, is the causal organism in my case. It was isolated and cultured in pure form and that pure culture is again inoculated to a healthy individual and the same disease happens, the same symptoms and the same disease into a healthy individual. So, this is the third postulate and the fourth and the last one is that the individual, that uh, inoculated individual it should be again, it should be again, again isolated and the organism, the organism is same as the diseased individual.
So here my words are very simple. If you can see, I have just simplified you, simplified for you guys. If you have any problem, please ask me in the comment section. So first try to understand, it's not very difficult to understand, it's very easy. The I am first, suppose I am the individual who is infected by pathogenic equally and I am diseased now. Now from my body, there is the first one and it is absent for any other individual. Because in any individual there are several bacteria, but the disease which I am suffering from and the causal organism within me is not present in any healthy individual. So it is isolated and culturally pure form. Then again it is inoculated into healthy individual who do not have that bacteria and who do not have that disease. And again from that individual which was, who was inoculated with that particular bacteria and that same bacteria should be isolated from the disease individual. And it should be the same from the disease individual means the first one that organism which was isolated from this individual and the last one that is isolated from the, this individual where that is the different person but the organism is same. So from these postulates, these four postulates define that the same bacteria is causing the same disease and it was verified within these two individuals. This is the simplified form I am telling for you. Okay. So this is the cause postulate but all the organisms which cause diseases to humans, it is not possible all of them or there are few organisms which cannot be cultured apart from human beings. Means it can only infect or it can cause only disease when it is present within the human beings. We cannot culture them outside the body in a media. Okay. So that's why it is, uh, it has some drawbacks. So in future to simplified form and to not go in the particular organism, there were uh, these molecular postulates. So I have added molecular means these postulates will be telling the same thing but as not all of the bacteria can be cultured outside the body. So, so this molecular coach postulates deals with the genetic trait, the specific gene or the virulence gene which is responsible for the disease. Now I will simplify the thing for you guys. I will use some words here so that you can understand the five postulates in molecular coach uh, postulates that is first one is the virulence gene. more should be present should be present more on pathogenic strains pathogenic strains of bacteria than than non pathogenic So first is presence of virulence gene. So as I was infected, suppose I was infected with an equally pathogenic strain like you can say for example O157 H7. So this is the pathogenic strain of E. coli. So this was the strain which I was infected with. And you know that there are beneficial E. coli and several E. coli strains which are not harmful. Even the water you drink contains E. coli, but that is not pathogenic. So the trait which is giving me trouble or which is the causal organism or which is causing the disease should be present in this strain particularly. That is the pathogenic strain, not the non-pathogenic normal E. coli cells or strains. This is the first postulate. Second one is. If the gene, if the virulence gene is replaced, not replaced, I will say here mutated, I will say here mutated. So the virulence gene which is causing the disease, if mutated, there should be no disease or maybe suppression of the disease
So, if I mutate the particular gene, then there should be either no disease or it should be the suppression of the disease. Okay. Later on is replacement. Replacement means what? That if the mutated form of the virulence gene, if replaced by the wild type gene, it should again cause the disease. So, replacement of wild type gene, wild type gene against mutated form. transfer the disease. So, I think it is clear up to that. Now, the next one is mutation replacement and again the virulence trait should express in the disease process. Means when the replacement done, there should be the virulence trait should be uh, expressed again in the disease process, following disease process. And the last one is, and the last one is, your body or the individual body should respond to that particular pathogenic strains uh, in the form of antibodies. Okay, that is immune response. So, immune response should be there. So, these are the five postulates of COACH, that is modified postulates or in a molecular aspect. So, I hope this is clear, but if you have any problem, please ask me in the comment section. I will be there. So, if you like this class and you want me to prepare more such like classes, then please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you.